Hello, and welcome to the CCNA Routing and Switching course offered by Simply Learn. The previous lesson focused on security. This lesson focuses on network address translation. Let us begin with the objectives of the lesson in the next slide. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain the concept of NAT, describe the types of NAT addresses, configure, verify, and troubleshoot NAT. Why is address translation needed at all? Let us understand this in the next slide. NAT requires more processing resources per packet. The device that performs NAT must have additional processing power and memory to minimize any delay that could be caused by NAT. NAT hides the IP address of the device that originates data. This is an advantage when hiding an address from someone outside the LAN. It provides better security. However, it also is a disadvantage. For a network administrator, the lack of traceability makes it harder to troubleshoot. Some applications rely on end-to-end -end traceability to work properly. Configuring tunneling, for example, in a virtual private network, VPN, is more complex with NAT. Let us discuss the devices used for NAT processing. Cisco offers a line of firewalls called Adaptive Security Appliances. NAT can be performed on these appliances. Cisco routers can also perform NAT. Normally, the device that performs NAT is directly connected to the Internet Service Provider, ISP. In the next slide, let us understand different types of NAT addresses. There are four different types of addresses in NAT. Inside local, inside global, outside local, and outside global. The terms local or global refer to the current location of the packet. The terms inside or outside refer to the location of the device. An inside local address is a private address referencing an inside device. It is the address of the inside host as seen from inside your LAN. This is most likely a request for comments, RFC 1918 address. An inside global address is a public address referencing an inside device. It is the address of the inside host as seen from the Internet. For example, this could be a valid public Internet routable address that the inside host is given when it exits the NAT router. In the next slide, let us discuss NAT address types for outside devices. An outside local address is a private address referencing an outside device. It is the address of the outside host as seen from inside your LAN. An example is the Internet Routable IP address assigned to a host that resides on the Internet. An outside global address is a public address referencing an outside device. It is the address of the outside host as seen from the Internet. In the next slide, let us discuss types of NAT addresses. Example. 